And it had only been open for a little over six months. Well, this afternoon, the plastic dome at Central Tech High School went up in flames, sending black smoke high into the air on Harvard near Bathurst. Fire crews were able to put it out quickly, but not before it caused nearly a million dollars in damage. Well, Toronto fire investigators now looking into what started that blaze. They say arson is suspected. For community members and even the man behind the dome itself, they believe its controversial past may have played a role in its present situation. It spread really fast. Like it just was like a little tiny flame and then suddenly it wasn't. A project that once ignited a fierce debate in this West End community went up in flames Monday. The $6 million state-of-the-art facility, just six months old. The seasonal dome, its most iconic and controversial feature, taking all the heat in this one, now sitting melted and charred at the track's northwest corner. A lot of people were not happy about the dome, and we actually thought it was kind of not smart leaving it there. Like, if it costs that much money, then put it away. Fire crews say they got the call around 2.30 in the afternoon for a grouse fire. Shortly after arriving on scene, they determined not only was it the dome that was burning, but it may not have been an accident. There was a report that uh, there was someone around the scene at the time of the fire, so it's being investigated by our investigators, the OFM and the Toronto Police. Razor Management, the company who built and runs the complex, did not want to comment on camera today. However, owner Matt Raisin telling City News on scene, quote, there's much more at play here. Raisin referring to the facility's controversial past. It was built as a result of a public-private partnership between the Toronto District School Board and his company. Residents initially fought the project, saying it was too big for the area. Then, a dispute over property taxes threatened to stop its construction altogether. It opened last November, but its battles were far from over. City News has learned Razor Management is currently in the middle of a heated battle with City Hall over what it sees as unfair taxation. The mayor's office confirming to City News it was emailed by Razor Management just this morning, three hours before the fire. I think the field is great. It's wonderful. A wonderful addition to the community. I've used it myself. Those who have come to use the facility say the fire to the inflatable roof is a blow to the entire community. It's a shame that the money is being spent already on the dome and, you know, they're going to have to decide whether or not they're going to reinvest in building the dome again. The TDSB says elementary school soccer players were on the field at the time of the fire. The game had to be stopped. No injuries are being reported. As long as if it's good for the kids, it's, it's probably a good thing, but I think it shouldn't, obviously shouldn't have been left out. Now the facility's field and brand new track remains open to students and the public. What's unknown is if that will continue this fall if the dome isn't replaced for when the cooler weather hits.